There have been reports that suggest that Liverpool could potentially bring both players to the club. What's up, guys? It's James from CopLogic. Welcome back to the channel. And in the aftermath of the Sobis line news, things have not slowed down for Liverpool in the transfer market. You'll be pleased to know. So we're going to take a look at our two hottest targets at the moment and get to the bottom of things. Let's start with Romeo Lavia. So Romeo Lavia, there are strong reports suggesting that this could happen this week. So Jurgen Klopp has already spoken to the player. Klopp reportedly loves the player and he sold him on the project. Now, I'd be hesitant to say that we've agreed personal terms it doesn't sound like that's the case i haven't really seen that reported what i'm seeing is the wording the player loves the project to me that suggests klopp has explained the role he would play at liverpool and the player is happy with it it doesn't sound to me like personal terms have been agreed or anything like that the player wants to come to liverpool Jurgen klopp wants him at liverpool so romeo lavia we're hearing reports that liverpool will probably put in their first initial bid sometime this week and they want things to move fast on this Jurgen klopp wants all of his players in in order to get a full pre-season so hopefully we start seeing the ball rolling on this and any other deals this week now Fabrizio Romano himself has confirmed Liverpool still have interest in Romeo Lavia despite the McAllister and Sobislai signings and that those signings have made no changes in the race for Romeo Lavia Arsenal are still interested in the player but as I said he really likes the sound of the project at Liverpool so it's in our hands to get this one done if we go and put the money down it's expected Southampton want a price around 50 million for the player Personally, I think that might be a little bit too much. I guess it depends how badly Klopp wants him. We have covered Romeo Lavia on the channel already, but just to go over it quickly, he is a central defensive midfielder. If we were to bring him to Anfield, he would qualify as homegrown due to his age, despite obviously he's not English. Now, this is pretty big for Liverpool because we are struggling in that department. So I think probably one of the key aspects of Romeo Lavia is the fact that he will qualify as homegrown, and that is pretty important to us at this stage. Again, he's a central defensive midfielder, so he'd be playing in that Fabinho role, you would imagine. Probably Probably going to be rotation especially you know we've already made a couple of new signings so Romero Lavia sounds like the kind of player that would get a bed in period probably going to rotate with Fabinho with an eye towards him being a you know a future starter for the club but I think the big news is that everyone seems to be expecting Liverpool to put in an initial bid this week and to push to get this deal done as fast as possible so we really could be seeing Lavia this week I have even seen reports to suggest that Liverpool's next signing will be through the door before the start of pre-season so that doesn't leave them long if it's Lavia the talking about we could see things really speed up on this deal this week in regards to the other target it is of course Kefrin Toram a player that we've done a lot of groundwork with already we all we know that personal terms are already agreed with the player it's all about getting that deal done with Nice now whether or not signing Sobislai has affected this we're not a hundred percent sure what we do know is Liverpool were waiting for the end of the under 21 euros in order to pursue a deal for Kefrin France obviously got knocked out of the under 21 euros yesterday so the player is now available for negotiations if Liverpool is still interested in the player and interested in getting this deal done we'll see movements on that this week so it's going to be a huge week i think for kefrin and also for romeo lavia we believe nice want a price of around 40 to 45 million for me that's the better deal it's slightly cheaper than what southampton want for lavia and i personally do think he's a better player he's certainly more versatile he can play as a central midfielder as well as a central defensive midfielder and he's also got capabilities playing in a more attacking role on the left not that we really need that but i think the fact that he can play progressively through the central midfield as well as defensively makes him the more versatile option there have been reports that suggest that liverpool could potentially bring both players to the club now kefren Poram, as i said can play center mid can play central defensive mid he's only 22 years old so again he's younger not quite as young as lavia he also wouldn't count as homegrown lavia does have advantages there but as i said there is potential to bring both these players to the club whether or not that relies on a departure we're not sure at this moment but there have been rumors to Thiago could leave the club this season. We have had confirmation today that there have been no offers on Thiago just yet but that there are clubs keen. So keep an eye on that one. Would you be willing to lose Thiago, but bring in Lavia and Toram? I'm not sure. Obviously, Thiago's a great player, but he hasn't really been that consistent in terms of his injuries. He's not very reliable. I think if Thiago goes out the door, but we bring two young, promising players in, it's probably not that bad of a deal, to be honest. With the unreliability of Thiago, and don't get me wrong, he's a great player, but the reliability is a serious issue for Liverpool, especially in that midfield. If we can fix that by bringing in two young players, it could be the right decision especially Kefren Toram basically has never been injured in his career so I think that would be a huge buy for us I love the versatility of the player I think he's great option for Liverpool if we could get him in so I have to admit I kind of feel like if 
Tiago leaving is the only way we get Kefra and Toram in. I think that's probably a deal I would do personally. Now, just on Tiago, you might have seen there's been a few places reporting that Tiago removed LFC from his Instagram bio today. I just want to be clear that that is not the case. I double checked a number of snapshots from the Wayback Machine on Tiago's Instagram profile. He never had LFC in his Instagram profile to begin with. So, this is simply not true. It seems like someone just trying to drum up the rumor mill, so I wouldn't pay any attention to that. I'm not saying that that means Tiago is going to stay. It's still very possible as i said there is interest from other clubs but no offer has been made yet just wanted to be clear that it's not the case that he's removed lfc from his bio so don't be worrying if you've seen that out there online if you have enjoyed the video please consider subscribing as you've just seen we tried to cut through all the noise and bring you the most reliable information possible especially with all the movements in this transfer window it feels like one of liverpool's biggest in quite a while so make sure you subscribe to the channel guys and like the video if you haven't already it really helps us out and we'll see you in the next video thanks for watching peace